Jeremiah 27. At this point, Judah was being threatened by Babylon, who came from the north. And, of course, they should have turned to God for help. And they theoretically did. But what they did in reality was to desperately send messengers off to all the other nations, apart from Babylon, who were near to them, and say, look, could you come and help us against Babylon? And now Jeremiah is told to make yokes and to go and send these yokes to all these people, the king of Edom, king of Tyre, king of Sidon, by the hand of the messengers who came to Jerusalem to Zedekiah, king of Judah, and to tell these people that you're going to come under the yoke of Babylon as well. So what God is trying to teach the people of Judah is, look, all these other peoples that you're depending upon to help you against Babylon, they're also going to come under his yoke. And so you see that there is this strong human tendency for us to treat God as the last resort. Let me try and deal with this. Let me try and cope with this in my own strength, with my own money, with my savings, with my own wit, with, with my own intelligence, by talking to some clever friends of mine and, and so forth. Instead of making God our first resort, God is not an insurance policy. You don't just go through this life like everybody else does, but when all else fails, oh, okay, I've got God, well, I hope. No, if you're in living relationship with God, if you're reading his word regularly, if you are hearing his voice and you're talking to him all the time, <laughs> God is number one. God is your first resort. In things great and small, you lose the car keys. You have a lump come up that looks like it's cancer on your body. You have a bad car accident. You break down in the middle of nowhere. Whatever. God is your first resort. Hour by hour. Moment by moment. And that is how actually he really wants to be.